Hey, it's Brittany. For those of you who are new here, I'm a dietetic student with a focus in sports nutrition and plant-based eating. For the first time ever, my desk is clear, so I figured I would go ahead and film this, um, this grocery haul. And I'm gonna be honest, I went shopping a few days ago, so a few of these things have been kind of dug into, so I apologize for not having everything kind of brand new. I'm gonna go through the cold items first so I can go ahead and get them back into the refrigerator and not die from food poisoning. Let's go ahead and get the like guilty items out of the way and then we'll move on to I'm healthy, I promise. First item I got were veggie soy dogs from Aldi. Sometimes you just want a hot dog. I've already eaten two. Second item I got were these veggie burgers from Aldi. If you've ever been to Aldi, you know that there's like literally 20 different kinds of vegetarian or vegan burgers. However, there's only like two of them that are vegan and gluten-free. The only flavors that I can eat are the ones that I already, you know, like you can get at other places. Sometimes I just wanna put a burger in a microwave and there. Okay, I found this at Publix. Um, it's the Violife feta, vegan feta cheese. That's what it looks like. I've never had it. I still haven't had it. Very curious because feta was my favorite, well, is my favorite kind of cheese. Vegan cheese already is like the worst to actually get good. So here's hoping this doesn't taste disgusting because I would really love for it to not. This is tofu that I got from Publix. It's the only place that I know of that sells super firm tofu other than um, Trader Joe's. They have like the extra protein one, but that's basically just super firm. I only got two of them. That's only because they only had two available. Otherwise I would have gotten like seven. I love tofu first of all, and this stuff is so good. If like, if you don't like the jello texture of tofu, then do the super firm because it's one, it's way easier to handle because it doesn't have as much water and then it just, the texture is so much better. So highly recommend. All right, so the rest of the cold stuff is vegetables, so yay. <laughs> so I got this diced cabbage, peppers, and onions thing. It's supposed to be like a coleslaw mix, but it was cheap and I just like have been throwing this into things just to add like some kind of vegetable. I got a big old bag of kale that has been definitely halfway eaten into. I usually don't like kale, but I've been sauteing this with onion powder and garlic salt, and it is honestly the best thing you'll ever put in your mouth. That's not true, that's a lie, but like it's good. Um, big old tub of spinach, it's good. This isn't a vegetable, but it's, uh, it's just marinara sauce from Aldi. I've already used a lot of it. And then I got this bag of grapes that are half gone. I'm really bad at eating fruit, which I know is like not what people do. Usually people struggle with eating vegetables and they enjoy fruit. I enjoy fruit, I just never buy it. And then every time I eat fruit, I'm like, I should be eating fruit, it tastes good. So I'm challenging myself to eat more fruit for those phytonutrients. All right, so now we can move on to the dry goods. No shocker here, I got uh, chocolate. <laughs> it's the endangered species chocolate. So I think it's 10% of their sales or profits go towards endangered species prevention organizations. So there's that. A lot of their chocolate is vegan. Not all of it is. Please read the label. It's lower in sugar than like normal chocolate. They have the 72% and 60% cocoa. I got cranberries, almonds, and dark chocolate, salted peanuts and dark chocolate, and forced mint and dark chocolate. I don't eat these avidly, but when I do have a sweet tooth, it, it's nice to have around. I got green lentil pasta. Um, usually I do bean pastas instead of regular pasta or even gluten-free pasta because it has the extra protein and extra nutrients in general. I got two of these and I already ate one of them. Whoops. I got bananas. I've eaten three of them already. I got these New Orleans style rice things. Um, they're not like the healthiest, but when I'm craving 
unhealthy food. This is better than just going to like, I don't know, any other restaurant and getting food. I've never had this brand, but I've had similar products and they're really good, so hopefully these work out. Um, I got the Dirty Rice Mix and the Jambalaya Mix. Both are vegan, I checked. I got two things of salsa, both from Aldi. Um, Aldi has the best salsa, it's the cheapest, it tastes the best, and it doesn't have sugar in it. I have another jar of marinara, this one is tomato, basil, and garlic, also from Aldi. I picked up mild banana pepper rings and then also Kalamata olives. Um, I kind of want to try to recreate a Greek salad with the vegan feta. Greek salad and Greek pizza, so good. So gonna try to recreate that. Hope it goes well. I got two jars of artichoke salad. It's basically artichokes, olives, and peppers and it's marinated in seasoning. It's really high in oil, so it's not like the healthiest, but what I really like to do with this is um, just throw it on top of pasta and use it as the sauce and then kind of use um, nutritional yeast on it as well to make it more creamy and cheesy. And it's one of the best like cheat meals that I make. I love it, so. If you're feeling like you need a cheat meal, go for this. All right, so now I just have canned foods. I got three cans of garbanzo beans. I've already been through two. I eat them a lot. I got two cans of kidney beans. Beans are really good for you. They're high in fiber, antioxidants, and protein. They're much better protein source than meat or animal products in general because they offer more nutrients and less detrimental nutrients such as saturated fat and cholesterol. I also got two cans of black beans and two cans of whole kernel sweet corn. For the record, there's no added sugar to this. It's just naturally sweet. I love corn. In particular, I love canned corn. So this is like my guilty pleasure when I'm having a bad day. <laughs> it's just corn. It tastes really good. Good source of fiber as well. So I'm not bothered by it. And the last thing I have is this giant can of diced tomatoes. I'll usually either make soups with this or I'll put this in lentils. It's just kind of nice to have around because it's really versatile. And if I run out of marinara sauce, but I still have pasta, I can use this as a pasta sauce. Um, so I always like to have one on hand because it usually goes out pretty quickly. But yeah, okay, so that was my grocery haul. Most of my dry foods are stocked up, so I have rice, lentils, potatoes, quinoa, stuff like that. Don't need more of it. But this was just kind of a good gist of what I eat um, on a regular basis. And I think all of this in total was around like $70, maybe $70. Most of this will last me more than two to three weeks, but like the vegetables will probably last me two to three weeks. Um, and then I also have like frozen vegetables that I keep in the freezer to kind of spread out the veggie intake so that it's not as expensive, which is a really great tip if you're a college student and you still wanna eat vegetables or fruit in general, it's way cheaper frozen and it keeps way longer so you don't have to worry about wasting products and it's really easy to use because you just heat them up and you're good to go. No fancy cooking necessary. If you guys like this kind of content, let me know and I'll do more grocery hauls for you. If you wanna know what I eat in a day or if you have any questions about being a vegan in college, let me know. I'll answer them for you guys. Go ahead and like, subscribe, comment. All right, see you next time, guys. Bye.